Welcome to Random Thunder Dogs. Uh, the car is working. We're out at a track day at Snetterton. And for a first time out for a while, it was a good track day. Mostly people were quite well behaved. There's a couple of examples of people being a bit of straight line heroes. But that's what you get sometimes when you go to a track day. It's not a test day after all. It's just really a shakedown run for the car. Um, you can kind of see it here. You do get held up a little bit sometimes. And it's not really the fault sometimes of people who are going to track days. Because they'll disappear along the straights and sort of assume that you're not really putting your foot down and happy to stay behind them. But <laughs> in the Mazda, you really are putting your foot down. So it might not appear to be very competitive in the straight line but you do often catch up in the corners because it is a lot quicker than a road car in a corner it's because of the, the race suspension it's loads of the ground hard springs hard shocks not a very comfortable ride but it is a lot quicker anyway that's for sure so when you do get to corners sometimes it is a bit tricky to to get past but actually the marshals at Snetterton were really good at getting the blue flags out and so for example here you see the blue flags flying and very quickly the driver moves over so it's actually not really a bit of an issue and then fundamentally it's not really a long track day that we're we're doing here for the for the time so just doing it just to make sure the car's all working in, and in good racing order so as you can see the, the front the car in front here the Mazda moving out of the way nicely but yeah generally speaking the car was pretty much on point uh, we're timing wise you know, you're not allowed to time at track days but it just did kind of feel more or less the same as when we were here last time to be honest um not a huge amount quicker so i'm not sure all that work to do the head well we'll find out we'll find out when we're in front with when we're with other masters because that'll be the bit where it's the proof will be in the pudding anyway back to pass wheel because that wasn't the only track day we did out at donington park we've just been out at snetterton so i'm going to show that as well the jeeps had loads of issues as well uh, there's the tow vehicle uh, it's had a rear caliper that's been sticking so i've had a whole new set of rear brakes it turned out to be a sticking caliper let's hope so we're doing the first long towing journey with it now. But let's get on and hopefully we'll get to Donington Park. Donington turned out to be a morning of looking at fog, but the track day did get underway eventually, although because of course people were raring to go, having just been looking at fog the whole morning, uh, there were a few issues out on track, a few red flags, people stuck in the gravel, etc. And I think sometimes when people come out of the pits and they see a Mazda behind them, they're like, oh my god, I don't want to let that guy pass, he's just going to get in my way. So you can see, you can see here on cold tyres, the, the Golf is, is desperately trying to get away, I think. Uh, or maybe they're just warming up the tyres, I'm not sure. But they do come to a bit of grief uh, uh, down the hill. At, <laughs> you can see getting out of shape, I kind of back off, uh, this is only going one way. Uh, and yeah, that's, that's where it goes into the ploughed field which is becoming the runoff area down at the old hairpin but um that was it basically and the master did run very well so i am hoping we'll do well next time out at silverstone first race of the year 